Hi friends and welcome back. It's me again, Miss Haley. Lately, we've been talking about insects and a lot of our friends wanted to learn more about ladybugs. So I found this very informational book called Ladybugs and it, it is written by Gail Gibbons. A flower gently sways in the breeze. A small bug is looking for food. It is a ladybug. Many ladybugs fly and move about looking for food. They eat aphids and other insects such as scales and mites that are harmful to plants. A ladybug is a beetle. The hard outside of an adult ladybug's body protects its soft insides. A beetle is an insect with a hard outside covering and it has two sets of wings. A ladybug's body. Like other insects, a ladybug's body has three main parts. They have a head, their thorax, and an abdomen. The ladybug also has two sets of wings. They have outer wings, which are the hard wings, and then they have their inner wings, which are delicate and are used for flying. The male or boy ladybugs are smaller than the girl or female ladybugs. Ladybugs also have antennae, which are located on their head. Antennae are used for touching, tasting, and smelling. Ladybugs have six short legs that have sticky pads of hair at the end of their legs. They also have strong jaws, which help them to eat other insects. Different kinds of ladybugs. Ladybugs can be many different colors and sizes. Some are as small as the head of a pin and others can be as large as a child's fingernail. Most are, uh, most are some size in between. Where do ladybugs live? Ladybugs live on six of the seven continents. Many scientists believe that there are about 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs. They also believe there are about 475 different types of ladybugs in North America. The four stages from egg to adult ladybug. Ladybugs mate in the spring and summer. A ladybug finds its mate by scent rather than sight. About one week after mating, the female lays her eggs. A ladybug may lay between two and 100 eggs. The female lays her eggs which are yellow in a safe place on a leaf. There are plenty of aphids that her young will eat as they grow. During the next week, the eggs turn from yellow to white. The second stage. After a few days, the eggs are ready to hatch. A thin shell begins to split open. The ladybug larvae crawl out. They eat their own eggshells and then begin eating the aphids. One larva can eat about 30 aphids a day. A larva eats so much, its outside covering or skin becomes too tight. The outside covering splits and is shed. 
a new larger outside covering takes its place. This is called molting. The larva continues to eat and get larger. It may molt three more times before it is fully grown. After molting for the last time, the larva attaches itself to a safe place using a sticky liquid at the end of its abdomen. The third stage, pupa. A ladybug larva is now called a pupa. Outside, the covering of the pupa is becoming hard. Inside, the ladybug pupa will continue to develop. It will not eat or move during this time. Now the ladybug pupa begins to split open its hard covering. Head first, the ladybug pulls its body out. The ladybug's body is pale and soft and has no dots. Its body slowly begins to harden. It's two delicate transparent inner wings, which will be used for flying, extend to dry. Then they slip back under the hard outer wings for protection. In about one hour or 60 minutes, the ladybug is ready to live a ladybug's life. The dots begin to appear. Did you know that ladybugs crawl more than they fly? Soon, lady, adult ladybug opens its hard wings and unfolds its flying wings. The ladybug lifts itself up into the air. It will spend its life going from plant to plant, eating aphids and other insects. <gasps> Danger! A ladybug has many different enemies, including birds, frogs, and other insects. It has three major ways to defend itself. Its bright red color is nature's warning to others that this insect may be poisonous or just taste bad. When a ladybug is attacked, its leg joints ooze a yellow fluid. It has a terrible stinky smell that keeps enemies away. A ladybug will also pretend to be dead and then the predator will lose interest. Ladybugs must protect themselves from cold winter weather. Thousands of ladybugs find a safe, warm place such as under a rock are nestled under leaves. Some ladybugs even fly to a warmer place. Like other insects, ladybugs are cold-blooded. Their body temperatures are controlled by the air surrounding them. They become active again when the temperature rises to about 59 degrees. Gardeners and farmers have always been against insects that damage their plants and crops, but farmers appreciate ladybugs because they eat plant damaging insects. Instead of using chemicals to protect their plants, farmers have tended to bring in more ladybugs to keep their plants safe from the harmful insects that eat their vegetable plants. Ladybugs are beautiful to look at and interesting to watch, but they are also an important insect that help our environment. The end. Thank you so much for listening to the book about ladybugs today, friends. What was your, your favorite interesting fact that you learned? I think mine is that ladybugs huddle together during cooler weather to keep each other warm. 
I'll see you soon, friends. Bye.